Hey guys, welcome back. It is day 97. If you are new here, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I'm doing the 100 day project. For today's project, I have no prototype on my desk, but I did do some, you know, preparations in advance. I want to make a travel ephemera pouch. Yeah? Okay. Let me show you what we'll be using for this project. So I want to use my index pages. These are large, very large, from a big atlas. Mind you, these are still sort of attached to one another. So it's a double page. What I do, I never just rip pages out of a book. I go to the signature in the middle and then I just cut all the little threads that are binding them together. So that's when you have this big, big, big uh, page. Well, it's a double page. I'm going to use two of these and then like an, another page from an atlas. I want to make some tabs with these lovely colors. And then my travel ephemera. Yes, look at those. <laughs> I love these. These are images that I found mostly on Pinterest and such. And they are, you know, hotel, vintage hotel labels and uh, luggage tags and uh, very old luggage tags. I just love these and I want to do some decorating with this. Uh, I am going to probably going to use this. This is like sort of very old cotton, whatchamacallit, almost rope. Um, glue, I'm going to use glue. I am going to use my tap punch. If you don't have a tap punch, uh, you can do it with scissors or maybe you have another sort of tap punch, another one than this. And a uh, circle punch, probably, oh yes, uh, a scoreboard. I'm going to use a scoreboard. Scissors, glue, you know, the basic. Let's get started. These pages are so big, I had to zoom out uh, so, so that you can see how big they are. They're almost as big as my uh, craft mat. Um, uh, in inches, it is, I believe, this is 12 and let's say uh, not a, like 15 inches by almost 11. It's 15, 15 by 11 and in centimeters is almost 40 by 27 or something. Yeah. So they're very, very large. Uh, you don't need these exact measurements. Just use big book pages from a big book, not a standard book. And be sure that they are still attached together. Yeah, that is the most important thing. I just like my index uh, pages for a background. What I want to do, they are attached here. I want to score on the other side. I'm going to take out my big scoreboard. Like so, the big one. I'm going to put it all the way flush to this edge because the fold that I'm making here, I want the exact same fold on the other page. It doesn't really matter where I put my fold. I just want sort of half an inch or three quarter inch, something like that. Let me get a bone folder thingy, and this one. I'm still keeping them double. These pages are so big, they do not even fit on this scoreboard. <laughs> so I do have to flip it over. Luckily, I have lots of experience <laughs> with flipping pages over on scoreboards. Hopefully this works. I'm going to flip it over. And now I'm going to do it again. So there you go. I'm just going to do one, guys. The other one I'm going to do probably off camera. Let me show you what I mean. Now we have some scores and I'm going to make the folds. Sorry for all the pages and the flipping. I'm just going to fold it over. Hopefully this is in frame. Like so. Also doing this on the other side. You could, of course, do this all by hand and just do some measuring and then, you know, do it like this. Because I want to, to attach them over here. Yeah. That is just the whole meaning of why I'm doing this. So I am gluing one flap, one of the flaps down to the whole, to the page. Oops. I'm sorry. It's so big. It's so, so big. I'm just gluing this flap down like so. Yeah. So this one is stuck to the page. Yes. 
We would have been smart to make Snippy here. That would have been a smart thing to do. Didn't do that. I am, however, going to do that on this page. Just a small Snippy on top and on the bottom. Just in case it wants to peek out a little bit. Hopefully I am in frame. These pages are so big. Now, okay. Sorry, turning it around again. We glued this down. Then I'm going to put glue, not on the inside, but on the outside. The whole outside flap here. I'm just using glue stick. I need a bigger craft room for this. There you go. And then I'm gluing it to the other bit. Yep, like so. They are equal now. Everything is straight. You have sort of a, oh, let's call it a sleeve. Yeah? It's open on both sides. You could, what you could have done is just made a strip and glued them together. But I just like the more finished look. I don't know. I just want it to be neat. But you could, you could have just glued them down. To, you know, a strip of glue here and then you glue them down. Yeah. I am quickly going to do the other one off camera. So I have two now, two sort of sleeves with openings on top and on the bottom. Yeah, the pages are directional. I have chosen to have one upside down and one the right side up. Making any sense? I probably am. So what I want to do is make uh, four pockets. Let me show you quickly what sort of the plan is. Folding this in and then folding this in as well. Sort of like this, see? Then you have one, two, three, and there's a pocket here. Basically, you know, I think you, you understand what I mean. But I, I do not want to make the folds before I sort of measure out the same heights everywhere. See that? Some of the writing will be upside down and some of the writing will be the right side up. That's why I've chosen to have one upside down and the other one right side up. Okay. I think I have it. Making a fold here and making a fold here. I cannot give you the measurements because your paper has different measurements. So we have two papers now. This one is folded like so, and this one is folded like so. Making any sense? I hope I am, because I have no clue how to explain it better than this. Right. Now we need to attach them to each other. I burnished them really, really well. Did not attach them yet. We're going to do that later. What I want to do is decorate the page, these pages with all the ephemera that I have. Uh, and I think it will be easier to do that before I glue them down. But I, I also want to see where the pocket starts and ends. So I'm just making a mark a little bit below where the pocket starts. Like half an inch or something or maybe an inch. Also here. And also here. So when I take them apart from each other, I know that I want to... Uh, put a collage on this bit I do not need to have it over here and the same here just on this part and not over here otherwise we'll be decorating stuff that we don't really see so that I think is a waste of time I'm just going to take out a one page one of these yeah so I want to make some cute little sort of collage with all my lovely lovelies let's see what I want to use just a couple of them and it doesn't matter I don't I don't mind it going off the page or under the page that's why I've decided to do this before uh, I glue them down right I need glue stick and a piece of paper to glue on I have that Normally I would take out some more ephemera, but I really just want to use all of these. And I think it will be nice. I'm not inking. No, aren't you not? Are you not inking? No, I'm not inking this one. 
good. And I am sort of randomly sticking things down. And I also want stuff to sort of go off the page. See, flipping it over. I just like that effect. Have the round one over there. I know some of you will be asking, where did you get all the beautiful, lovely labels? Pinterest. If I want to glue it down over the top, do not glue it over both sides, yeah? Just glue it over one page. Otherwise, your pocket will be shot. Yeah. So I have one here and here. Or not a round one. Yeah, I like it. think I will have, I did at one point have sort of uh, ephemera packs in my shop with all these labels and maybe I'll make some more. Or I could make a printable out of them. Don't know, yes, don't know. I also really want to show a little bit of the uh, index page of course let me quickly get this out and see oh yes yes i like this i like this a lot i like it a lot luck of you i did all the sort of fussy cutting tearing in advance otherwise we would have been here for hours for hours and hours uh, I'm going to do the pot bottom part now. If I am going to attach this here, I want to have something over here, then something over here, and then again something over here. I'm just, you know, thinking ahead, planning ahead. Uh, let's see, what am I putting on? I like this one. I like this one. There you go. Okay, Margaret, what are we using this for? Yeah, well, you could use it for lots of stuff. But I was thinking, when you go on holiday, when you travel, um, you can fill this up with uh, ephemera that you find there, like brochures and menus from restaurants, and then keep uh, everything, you know, in one place. That was my idea. That is nice, but I don't want to make the hole in this. Um, where's my hole punch thingy? Yeah, it is here. Oh, guys, I also have a product that I just bought that I want to share with you. Yeah. Uh, this morning I went to Ikea. Um, because I wanted another of those trolleys, these, those cards. You know, the three layers. The ones, ah, I love them. This is my third one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you need three? I do. I need three. I needed three. Um, and at the... Um, where you pay. What's it called? <laughs> at the checkout. I'm sorry. Let's call it a checkout. Yeah. They, all, they also all, always have like scissors there. And tape. And you know stuff. They're like, Oh yeah. Let me get that as well. And, or dishwashing, I don't know, brushes, stuff like that. And today they had something I had never seen before and that I really liked. And I for sure know you all want to have. You all want to have this. Well, I think you all want to have that. Let me glue this piece down first and then I'll show you. I think this is already enough. Yeah. Let me quickly show you. They had these. It's this is in, it this is the box. Uh that it doesn't really have a name. It is labels. These labels are designed for uh on uh bottles and and such on glass containers. They are see-through washi tape kind of labels. Look at that. Yeah, they have a smaller size and a bigger size. 
I already tried it. You can stamp on it with um, uh, like Stason or Archival Ink. Not with Distress Ink. You can make your own labels. And they're see-through, sort of washy. Yes. Bought two boxes. So, yeah. Go to Ikea. You need them. Yes. Okay, we have two. This is a quick project. <laughs> no, I also need to glue it down. And then we're going to do this one. And I want this one to be sort of over here. Yes. I put the line over here, so I need to imagine it over here. I want this. Why? Because, because it just looks nice. It just looks nice. What was this day? 97. So three more projects. Well, basically two because uh, what I want to do is the last one. I want to um, do a show and tell. So two more projects. But I'm already thinking about my next projects. Oh, I love this one. Do you love this one? Mirabeau Hotel in Monte Carlo. Yes. Never been. Probably doesn't even exist anymore. There we go. Yes, I think the first video that I am going to do will be a whole video. Because I went thrifting with my bestie Leonie. And we found absolute treasures. Absolute treasures. And I want to share them with you guys. So... Yeah, there's a haul coming on soon. Yeah, and of course I am going to assemble the um, what's it call it? A botanical journal. Yeah, I want to make signatures and put all the ephemera in that we made. How will this look? I want the one to be a little bit more visible. Yes. There you go. Did you see Tina's new uh, craft room from Shabby Dabby Duda? I watched a video this morning. She moved her craft room to another room and it looks so amazing. It looks so amazing. Look at that! I uh, don't know about you guys, but I already really, really love it. Yeah. It's already so pretty. Need a new page. Oh, this is lovely. Yes, I do not want to have this part go off the page. This part goes off the page, yeah. Did I not? No. <laughs> Looks like. Did I glue it down? You no, know, he did not shut the the pocket down. And there you go. The Grand Hotel in Colombo, Ceylon. Do we have another round one? Sure. It's all sort of the same ladies on here. Same style. I want to have this a bit over there, but still have the Royal Beach Hotel on it. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Don't like this together. Oh, let's have another one. Ooh. Yeah, let's do this one. And then another one underneath. Park. Jasper Park Lodge. Oh, this is in Canada. Any of you ladies from Canada? Well, I know one lady in Canada. Aloha. I do not know if Aloha is watching my videos. But I love her. Hi, Aloha. If you're watching... Yeah, well, we know each other. We've known each other for uh, quite a while. Yeah, a couple of years now. 
almost from the beginning. How does it look? Uh, no, this goes, this goes in here. Well, don't know about you, but I think it looks amazing. Cute, right? Yeah. So now we need to attach it, but I have also have a plan for that. What I want to do is have a lot of room in these pockets. I could simply, you know, put glue on the sides and then just glue them down. That would work, but I want them to have a little bit more room. So what I want to do, hopefully you can see, I want to make a little bit more room in between these bits, in between these and these, yeah? So let's start in with the big ones. What I did, I took a piece of paper and I measured this bit. Already cut it to size. See? Took a piece of paper. Measured this bit, cut it to size. And then I need to score it. Because what we want to make, other side, Margaret, other side, there we go. What we want to make are these like sort of harmonicas, accordion, or, or a W or an M, whatever you wish. I'm going to score at a half an inch each. I'm going to make four scores. So one, two, three, Four. Yes. One, two, three, four. And at the fourth score, we are going to cut. So I'm taking out my paper cutter. Lining. Up. You probably don't, cannot see this. I'm lining it up with the fourth score. And there we go. And then we're going to fold a sort of a zigzag, folding it this way, and then the other way, and then that way again. See? W or an M. Now, let's do the other side. We made the two sort of zigzags for uh, this pocket over here, between these pages. Now we need to make them between these pages, so we need to measure this bit i did that see like so and then we're gonna do the same trick again just make four scores of each half an inch three and four we'll cut at four There you go. Making a zigzag. Fold it in and over. And there. And the same principle with the last pocket. This bit. Yeah? I'm going to do all these off camera because hmm, boring. Before I glue all my little zigzags to the uh, pockets i want to make some uh, notches and some put on some tabs i have spaced these um sort of collages out i want to make a notch here 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 and here just you know have it a little bit in a different spot i'm going to use my this is a one and a half circle punch eyeballing it There you go. There's one. So I'm not having the notch in the middle. I don't mind that. And then here is a bit of space for the notch. There you go. Over here. It is just decoration. It's not really like very functional. And over there. And then I made these tabs with my tab punch. These ones. I like to have them double. Yeah. Uh, some of you just punch it out and then it's a single one. I just like them to be double. And I think I want the tabs behind the hole punch. Like the notch here. 
Yeah, I think that that looks great. I just decided to do it over there. Good. You could have a single one, of course. I just, just like to have them double. Just a little bit behind so you can see the whole tab. I kind of like that effect. Yep, so this is South America. I just put down some punched out. This is Australia. Some continents. And this one. What shall we do? Europe. Most of you are probably like, oh yes, Europe, I want to go someday or someday. Yeah, that's me with uh yeah, North America. <laughs> like to go some never been, never been to the States before. But my husband and I we want to go, but when when we do, we want to stay there for you know a month or two just to see everything. Not just, you know, a week in Miami or yeah. what I really would love to do is, you know, rent a camper, a big camper and then um, a Winnebago and then go everywhere. Look, yeah, <laughs> love it. Now is the time to glue these bits down. I'm starting with the bigger ones, yeah? These need to go inside here. So what I am doing, I am folding, uh, turning this page over like so, because I want these to be over here, all the way close to the edge, yeah? So the, the sizes that the, the pages that are cut, so these ends are going to go on the inside and this is going to go on the outside. Yeah. Ends on the inside. Nice bits on the outside. I am going to use art glitter glue for this because I think that will work better. Am I? The reason why I am like hesitating is that art glitter glue will not move once you have glued it down. And that could be a good thing, but that could also be a not so good thing. I want to have it all the way to the edge. From top to bottom. Like so. So it's flush to the edge, see? And also top and the bottom. My coffee machine, I'm sorry. <laughs> now the other one. Again, the nice piece to the outside and the not so nice piece on the inside. It is a little bit tricky, guys. I know it's tricky. But we did this before in one of my videos where I had the beautiful German book and we made like an ephemera formula with it. Also, yeah, I do not know what day that was i will link that one down below very nice video to watch i believe so okay i'm so i'm gonna keep these over here and now i want to attach these over here i'm just gonna attach them first to all the pages and then i'm going to attach them to the other page are you making any sense i hope so Just gluing these down. Mm 
Yep. Hopefully I'm still sort of in frame, yeah. There we go. And then we have one more set to go and it will go over here. one yep now it's going to be a little bit tricky but we'll manage do not glue this down yet the small the smallest pocket yeah just we're gonna put that aside for just a second so what I want to do is glue this up, upward, like so, yeah? So again, using Art Glitter Glue. The problem is, you have to do it both at the same time. That is a bit of a problem, but we'll manage. Just try to position them. Folding it in without really pressing it hard. Ooh, I'm close by. <laughs> Very close to the camera. And then also on the other side, be sure it is flush against this bit. Well, that went, went easier than expected. See? Yeah. It's like a sort of an accordion. Well, once you have removed this, it's stuck. This bit is stuck. And I used a little bit too much glue. Please let go. There you go. And on the other side as well. Yep. Now, we need to attach these over here. Oh, this project is so big and my camera is so nearby now. <laughs> Hopefully you'll not be like dizzy. Here's one. And here's the other one. Scooching it all the way to the top. Yes. And then you need to push this all the way the edge down below. Line it up. It is tricky, I know. I know it's tricky. Yep, there's one side. How about the other side? Way up. Good, 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 good. Yes. And now the last part. That's the easiest part. <laughs> she said. <laughs> maybe, maybe it really isn't. Okie dokie. Gluing both of them down like so. Yes, look at all the lovely pockets. I am going to let this dry for just a little bit. It is dry now. I want to make sort of a decorative closure because it really doesn't need a closure. There is so much room. You, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. And these are big ones, yeah? 
So lots of room everywhere. I just want to make some sort of a decorative sort of closure. Um, what I did was I took one of the beautiful labels and I backed it. So it's a little bit sturdier now. And also punched a small circle and backed it two times with some more cardstock underneath. What I also want to do is strengthen this piece at the top. So I'm just taking a random piece of the atlas paper. Where's my glue stick? And I am going to fold it over in the middle. Like so, just over the paste page and glue it on, gluing it on both sides. Just to strengthen this bit a little bit. You'll see why later. Now, what I want to do is attach this one here um, with a brad through it. Yeah, because we want to have like the rope thingy <laughs> go all around it. So, I have a brad. I have this one. This one, I'm going to take my pokey tool for this. No, this is a really big brad. I am going to take my crocodile. Let's have it go through. Can we manage to punch both at the same time? No, no. Just this one. In the middle, sort of, hopefully. Looks like, not the middle, but you know, almost there. And then and this one in the middle. Good. Now let's have this one go through here and here. What I want to do, because this rope or twine or however you want to call it is very, well, you know, thick. And I want to have a little bit of space in between the circle and this plate underneath. So I have all these lovely hole reinforcers. And I think I am going to glue them on. Just a last minute decision. There we go. Because that creates a little space for the rope to go through. There you go. Two of these together. And then. gluing it on the back yep like so okay now we can put this through here and here please work with me legs yes there you go now I'm gluing this whole bit down over here, sort of in the middle. Well, let's have it in the middle. That'll be nice. Using my art for this. And it's another sort of decorative uh, item here. That is not the middle at all. No. Scooch in, scooch in. Wow. It'll be fine. Now let's put a, a rope around it. This is one of the treasures that I found with Leonie. Drifting the other day. I love it. I'm going to tie it around, making a knot in it. Whoops. And I just want to leave this bit because I, I like this. And then you go around. Oops. One times. It's the other way around. It's the other way around, love. Yeah. Down. Up. <laughs> up. Down. Yeah. Oh, this 
this object is so big. It's so big now. So I go down first and I go up. And I go down again. And up. And then you tie it over here again. Like so. Let's see the end result. Here it is. I put some knots down the uh, rope. Let's call it a rope. It, this is not really necessary, but I just like sort of the look of this. Makes it feel all, you know, vintagey. Um, I love it. It is so big. It hardly hardly fits like the screen. Um, you can have a lot in here, like the brochures I was uh, telling you about. All the things that you um, collect when you travel for your journal when you're at home and make a new journal so we open it up like so yep and then we have lots of pockets let me do it this way guys because i have more room this way a very deep big pocket over here you could have your tickets in here travel guides whatever then you have a big pocket here and a pocket here a uh, pocket here, <laughs> another one here, here, and here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets. Seven pockets. Yes. I did not decorate the back, but you can for sure decorate the back if you want to. Um, I did not do it. I am going to do it though. Yeah. I am because I have lots of labels left so I think I will put on more labels but I don't have time for that anymore <laughs> guys thank you for watching I hope this made sense it was a little bit of a tricky situation because the project is this big tomorrow will be day 98 I hope you can join me again see you then bye